All right, what's going on? This is Shalom from Dreams and Ambition. And today is Wakanda Wednesday. So, you know, I talk a lot about being a black immigrant to the United States. And I kind of wanted to visualize some of what it feels like to me, right? The way I mentally kind of process it. So, Let's say this is America, right? Um, and all the African Americans or black people in America, everyone's in here, right? All these people came here by way of slavery. They were taken from the African continent, which could be right here, right? Um, geez, what a horrible representation. Oh, well, um, we'll just use a circle. It's the African continent, and people were imported, right? So all black people in America these dots, um, they all came in as slaves, right? And uh, so they only understand the perimeters of this box. And when we talk about the system that's in America, uh, the system pretty much controls the way each of them live within these perimeters, right? Uh, as a slave, you know, you're told where you can go, where you can do. So you have some slaves that can go throughout the perimeter of this box, right? Uh, they can move freely. And then uh, depending on how well you fit into the system and you follow the laws, laws of the system, then, you know, you, you have other small boxes within the box, you know, and some people are only restricted to those, you know, you have other small boxes where people can just be restricted to those, you know. Um, so depending on how good you are within the system, you're either allowed to run free or you only have certain boxes you can fit into, right? That's kind of how I visualize. So you have some African Americans that have more freedoms than others, but all of them that came as slaves all have to fit into this box, right? Now, this is one way black people are in America. And then there's a second way, this way. These are your Number two, these are your African immigrants who come here for school or set to immigrate, different reasons, whatever the reason. Those ones come in, and those are your black African immigrants. You come in, and all over the place, boom, boom, boom. All over the place. But they go to school, you know, and they also still have to fit into the system of the box. But they come with a different mentality, you know, a uh, very different mentality. So we usually come in um, without an understanding of these restrictions, you know. Um, we come in through these perceptive areas uh, because where we come from our boundaries are different our understanding of these boundaries are different and so we come with a different mentality you know we don't think we fit into any of these boxes I mean we're automatically you know allowed to roam a lot more free in certain ways than than others some people are restricted to certain boxes that they're They've been in for hundreds of years, 
and we come in by choice and with a different sense of freedom you know and possibilities um, and because we came in from the outside from these holes we also know how to get out of it so we come in we get what we want and then oftentimes go back to our countries uh, some stay um, but yeah we just go right back and we build this even bigger based on everything we've gotten and we continue to build right when you're a black person in America and you're within these boxes you can't really there's only so much bigger you can get so yes there, there's you know people here that you know they, they begin to grow their empire and grow it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger you know but they're still restricted to these boundaries of the United States okay uh, not the best artistic illustration but uh, just a little sense of you know uh, how to think about it visually or mentally if you will so uh, black Americans they come in without an understanding of some of these other boxes and the system that we, we got to fit into you know usually it's come in get what we need build a little bit more on top of ours and then head out that's usually what the the African immigrant wants to do some choose to stay and if they do choose to stay uh, in order not to get into these boxes they get an understanding of the system of this entire system um, how do I view myself well I would say there's a very small percentage of these African immigrants who end up getting put into this box so we end up being the circle in the box right um, and until you get understanding of what it feels like to be put into the box as an African then it's less likely that you'll have empathy for these other people in these boxes right and I would say for me that's kind of where I'm at you know experienced what it feels like to be in this box and the nice thing I'd say about being an African um, or I'll speak for myself specifically is there's always that option of a hole to get out right and that's what I'm talking about that hole these holes are more mental than anything right there's a I, I just saw this somewhere recently a study that was done with some cows where they were put in you know to graze within a certain perimeter and it was electrified fencing so this essentially represents the electrified fencing and uh, the cows would go and once they get shocked and they studied them for a while is is based on what um, this research was done so they, they they were put in these electric fences and once they reached the fence and they got shocked they observed them for more and more generations and what they realized like the cows their offspring would never even go close to the fences and I think that's very um, symbolic of the of being black in America you know you have those who've lived in here for a long time and they understand their perimeters their fences and they understand the shock you know there there's a few select people that or those who are considered the african-american figures today um, they may have the money and the power but are only allowed to build their empire to a certain extent where it doesn't get bigger than the fence 
because these fences are electrified and they know and they understand those boundaries. Uh, as an African immigrant coming in, we come in and make these mental loopholes to get in with our intellect, often education, etc., business, whatever it is. We come in and, you know, then we come in already with a bigger circle, you know. The dots represent for these representations your African Americans. The circles are your African immigrants. Now, the immigrants are already coming with a bigger circle, a bigger nest of an empire that they've built, while the people with the dots have to first get out of if they're already in this square, they have to get out of that before they can start building bigger and bigger circles. But their empire only extends to, you know, this electric fence, if you will. In Africa, we come in, we make our circles a little bigger, whether it's through education, through business, and we realize at some point is only so far you can go in terms of making it as big as you want here. So we decide to exit and build upon these already huge generations of empires that have um, been around for hundreds and even thousands of years. So that's sort of my illustration in a nutshell. Hopefully it made a little bit more sense um but yeah that's what that's what that's how i visualize black america if you will you know so yeah leave me some comments tell me what you guys think i'll try to get better at drawing and yeah subscribe to the channel leave me a comment um i'd love to get some feedback from you and remember every wednesday hashtag condo wednesday We'll have more discussions like this, and I'll try to visualize a bit more. So that's that. This is Shalom from Dreams and Ambition, and this is your Wakanda Wednesday.